In this video, we will look at how game cheats work and the logic behind them. If you have ever played any game, you may have encountered hackers. These hackers do some changes in their game and get some advantage over other players. They can shoot through walls, they can see a player's exact location, and much more. You may have wondered how these hacks works. So, how exactly are game cheats created and used? For understanding this, we must first understand the working of your PC. What happens when you open a game? Let's see inside your PC. Here we have listed three parts of your PC, the CPU, RAM, and hard drive. Your game is stored in your hard drive. And when you open game, it gets loaded into the memory or also known as RAM. This RAM consists of instructions, data and address, which your CPU pull out, processes it and again write at RAM. The CPU keep repeating this task. Instruction tells CPU what to do. Like an add instruction may tell the CPU to add any two values. The data is what gets manipulated or used in any way like your health value, which decreases when you get shot or increased when you take medicine. Address tells CPU where to take input from. This may be the address of your keyboard to take input from or any other value and instruction. Your game data is temporarily stored at RAM, and the game hackers alter this data to get advantages. For this purpose, hackers need some tool to easily scan and edit the data in memory. And here comes the tool called Game Guardian. It is a very popular tool in cheating Android games, and many game hackers use this to hack games like Free Fire, PUBG, Call of Duty, and even more. This tool is the best tool used to cheat games in Android. Game Guardian scans memory and allows you to edit the data in memory. You may think why hackers don't make hacks like Auto Win. For example, when match starts, everyone dies even without firing a single bullet. Wouldn't that be cool? There will be no need of hacks like aimbot and headshot. Hackers don't make these types of hacks because they can't hack everything in every game. There are some limitations in hacking games. Let's take an example of offline and online game. Remember that earlier in video I told that hackers hack these game by editing data in your RAM. Hackers can manipulate the data which is in their device and they have no control over server-sided games. In an offline game, when a hacker says I won, then the game will also say, yes you won. But when an online game hacker says I won the game, the server will say not, you didn't. And unless you hack the server, it is what it is. But this doesn't mean hacking server-sided things in games is impossible. The hacker may build powerful hack like auto-win if there is any bug or vulnerability in the server. As we have discussed some concepts about the logic of game hacking, let's get directly into how game cheats are made and used. I have described it in three steps. The first one is setup, second is the hack finding, and the third is script making. So what is setup process? It is done before hacking a game. You know that Game Guardian scans memory, but Android operating system doesn't give the right to scan the memory to any app. So, how does Game Guardian get right to scan memory? The answer is you have to root your phone and give the root rights to Game Guardian. Then only it can scan and edit your memory. If the hacker don't have root or don't want to root, then also there is a way to do this. And that is by using virtual space. Virtual space creates a virtual rooted environment inside your phone. You can install Game Guardian and the game inside virtual space, and then you can use root inside virtual space. Finding hacks is the most complex process in game hacking. It depends on each game. Maybe some game have anti-cheat and another game doesn't, some games encrypt the useful values, like game coins, and some don't. Some games are completely offline, and some are completely server-sided. And making hacks for coin hack and wall hack is different. Let's take example of the very simplest form of cheat finding. We assume that a game has 1,000 game coins. Then hackers open Game Guardian search, 1,000, and edit it to higher value, and boom a hack found. However, this is not that easy in all games. 
You surely remember that I told games encrypt values. Let's see an example about that. In this example also, we consider the game has 1000 coins which are encrypted. Encryption is a process to hide the real meaning of things in this case the coin value. So the 1000 may be encrypted by adding 1 in every number. When we add 1 in every numbers it becomes 2111. Games will store this instead of 1000 and hackers can't find it. But there is a way. Hackers can use a search feature called fuzzy search and get list of all values which changed, did not change, increased or decreased, and they can find this coin value from that way, and encryption will be bypassed. Now let's talk about how hacks like wall hacks, also known as walkthrough wall, are found. There can be two ways. First one is to randomly edit all values of a game in the memory and hope to get the wall hack value. And another is to dissemble the game and explore assembly to find value. The second method is advanced and used by professional hacker, while the first method is easy and even a newbie can do it. This much for hack finding if you are more interested on hack finding then you can join my telegram channel from the link in the description, where I am doing a hack value finding series. In finding hacks part, hackers did things manually. But every time you want to activate chi, you want waste time in doing all things over again. So scripts are made, which makes the hack activate in one click. In game guardian script can be made by using a scripting language called Lua. Or hacker can just make his own cheat activating application. You can see more about this in the game guardian official website. In the following video, you can see in screenshot of in script which is the output of all these hacking processes. This much for today's video. I hope you learned something new about game hacking and no more think game hacking is some kind of black magic. Don't forget to check out Telegram channel for more info and subscribe the channel for 10 years of good luck. Bye.